right, in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to multiply radicals, but this time we're multiplying a binomial times another binomial. All right, look at this first example. I'm going to show you guys how to multiply both of these binomials using the FOIL method. FOIL represents first, outer, inner, last. <laughs> so we're going to look at the first term in that first set of parentheses, which is one. And then the first term in the second set of parentheses, which is negative two. And then we're going to multiply them. So one times negative two equals negative two. Now for my O, which represents outer, we're going to look at the outer terms, which is going to be the one and that square root of two. So one times square root of two is just going to equal square root of two. Now my inner. My inner is basically the two terms in the middle, which is negative square root of two. Yep, yep, yep. Always take that sign in front of the number. And the negative two. So I'm multiplying negative square root of two times negative two. Now, we know a negative times a negative is always going to be positive. And we have to be mindful to always keep your coefficient in front of the square root. So it's going to be positive two square root of two when we multiply it together. And then my last, of course, is going to represent the last two terms we haven't touched yet, which is that negative square root of 2 and the positive square root of 2. So those are the two things that we're multiplying. Negative square root of 2 times positive square root of 2. All right. So a negative times a positive is going to give me negative. We already know that. Um, square root of 2 times square root of 2. Technically, it is square root of 4. But we know the square root of 4 is a perfect square. It equals 2. So this is going to equal negative 2. Now, looking at everything that I got from the F, O, I, and the L, I'm going to combine like terms if I can. So I'm just going to add whatever like terms I can add together. All right. So as you can see, I can definitely add negative 2 plus negative 2. Gives me negative 4. And I can also add my square root of 2 and my 2 square root of 2. And the reason is because they both have the same square root. <laughs> so whenever they have the same square root, remember, you have to add or subtract the coefficients. So we're adding that imaginary 1 and the 2 to get 3 square root of 2. And then this will be my final answer. And that's 